Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving deep into a surprising story that has stirred quite a buzz in the culinary world and beyond. It involves renowned chef Cory Vitiello and none other than Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. Yes, you heard that right. Meghan Markle has recently launched her new Netflix cooking show, and allegations have surfaced that she may have borrowed more than just inspiration from Cory Vitiello's recipes. So, Grab your popcorn and settle in as we unravel this intriguing tale of culinary theft and celebrity drama. To set the stage, let's begin with who Cory Vitiello is. A celebrated chef based in Canada, Cory is known for his innovative approach to cooking, focusing on fresh, locally sourced ingredients. His recipes are not only delicious, but also reflect a deep respect for the culinary arts and sustainability. He has made a name for himself in the food industry, with a loyal following that appreciates his talent and creativity. From cookbooks to television appearances, Corey has established himself as a culinary authority, making the recent claims against him even more shocking. Now, let's shift gears to Meghan Markle. After her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan has become a prominent figure in the media, known for her advocacy work and various projects. Her latest venture, a cooking show on Netflix, aims to celebrate the art of cooking and share recipes that reflect her love for food and community. While many view this as a heartfelt endeavor, the controversy surrounding her show raises questions about originality and authenticity in the culinary world. As the story unfolds, we find ourselves at the heart of the controversy. It all started when fans of Cory Vitiello noticed striking similarities between his recipes and those showcased in Megan's cooking show. Social media exploded with comparisons, as viewers pointed out that certain dishes, techniques, and even presentation styles mirrored Corey's work. The internet has a way of connecting dots, and in this case, the dots led many to believe that Megan's culinary journey was not entirely her own. The allegations quickly gained traction, prompting discussions across various platforms. Culinary enthusiasts, food bloggers, and even mainstream media outlets began to weigh in on the situation. Some defended Megan, arguing that it is common for chefs to draw inspiration from one another, while others condemned the apparent lack of credit given to Cory Vitiello. The debate sparked a larger conversation about intellectual property in the culinary arts, raising important questions about what constitutes originality in cooking. As the controversy heated up, Cory Vitiello himself took to social media to address the situation. His response was measured and professional expressing disappointment but also a desire to focus on the positive aspects of cooking and community. He emphasized that while imitation can be a form of flattery, it is essential to acknowledge and honor the creators behind original recipes. His stance resonated with many, further fueling the discussion around the ethics of recipe sharing and the responsibility of public figures. In the following episodes of Megan's show, viewers were keenly watching for any changes or acknowledgments. Would she address the allegations? Would she modify her recipes to differentiate them from Corey's? To the surprise of many, the subsequent episodes continued to showcase similar dishes, albeit with slight variations. This only intensified the scrutiny, as fans speculated whether Megan was attempting to distance herself from the controversy without formally addressing it. As the narrative unfolded, the question of influence versus theft became a focal point of the discussion. Culinary experts weighed in providing insights into the fine line between being inspired by another chef's work and outright copying it. They highlighted that while many famous chefs often borrow techniques or ideas, they also make a concerted effort to add their unique twist or acknowledge their influences. This is where Megan's approach came under fire, as critics argued that her homage to Corey's recipes lacked the necessary transparency. The story took another turn when a prominent food critic published an article discussing the implications of this controversy. The critic pointed out that in an age where social media amplifies voices and holds public figures accountable, it is more important than ever for chefs, especially those with a massive platform like Megan, to maintain integrity in their work. The article sparked further dialogue within the culinary community, with many chefs sharing their thoughts on the ethics of recipe development and the importance of crediting sources. As the months went by, the buzz around the controversy began to die down, but not without leaving a lasting impact on both Corey Vitiello and Meghan Markle. For Corey, the situation presented an opportunity to further establish himself as a thought leader in the culinary world. He began hosting workshops and online classes, 
focusing on teaching aspiring chefs about originality and the importance of creative expression in cooking. His popularity soared, as many food lovers flocked to learn from a chef who had been at the center of such a high-profile debate. Meanwhile, Megan continued with her show, but the shadow of the controversy lingered. Viewers remained divided, some still enjoying the content while others felt uneasy about the authenticity of her culinary journey. Megan's team made efforts to engage with the audience, incorporating elements of community cooking and cultural exchange into the show as a way to shift the narrative. However, the initial allegations had left an undeniable mark on her reputation within the culinary community. In conclusion, the tale of Corey Vitiello and Meghan Markle is a captivating exploration of creativity, influence, and the ethical responsibilities of public figures in the culinary arts. As we reflect on this story, it becomes evident that the world of cooking is not just about recipes. It is a vibrant tapestry woven from the threads of tradition, innovation, and respect for those who came before us. Whether you're a seasoned chef or a home cook, the lessons learned from this controversy serve as a reminder of the importance of originality and the acknowledgement of fellow creators in the culinary landscape. In the ongoing discussion surrounding the culinary controversy involving Corey Vitiello and Meghan Markle, Several specific recipe similarities have emerged that have caught the attention of fans and critics alike. While it's essential to approach this topic with an understanding of the nuances involved in culinary creativity, we can explore some of the notable parallels that have been highlighted between the two chefs' shows. One of the first recipes that drew comparisons was a vibrant roasted vegetable dish featured in both Corey's and Megan's episodes. Corey's version showcased a medley of seasonal vegetables, including zucchini, bell peppers, and cherry tomatoes, all seasoned with fresh herbs and a drizzle of balsamic glaze. Megan's rendition of this dish closely mirrored Corey's, presenting a similar combination of vegetables and seasoning, though she added a handful of nuts for crunch. Critics pointed out that the core concept and flavor profile were strikingly alike, raising eyebrows about the originality of her version. Another striking similarity was observed in the preparation of a classic pasta dish. Cory Vitiello's recipe for a creamy mushroom fettuccine highlighted the use of sautéed mushrooms, garlic, and a rich cream sauce, topped with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. In Megan's cooking show, she presented a mushroom pasta that bore a close resemblance, employing similar ingredients and cooking techniques. While Megan incorporated a splash of white wine to elevate the sauce, many viewers noted that the foundational elements of the two recipes were almost indistinguishable. When it came to desserts, the comparisons continued. Corey's signature lemon tart with a buttery crust and zesty lemon filling was a fan favorite. Shortly after, Megan unveiled her own lemon tart on her show, which featured a similar crust and lemon curd consistency. Though Megan added a twist with a layer of meringue on top, the essential components of the tart echoed Corey's recipe, leading to speculation about the influence behind her version. Additionally, both chefs explored the realm of comfort food with their takes on a classic chicken pot pie. Corey's recipe emphasized a flaky pastry crust filled with tender chicken, seasonal vegetables, and a savory herb-infused sauce. Megan's adaptation displayed similar elements, including the same vegetables and a creamy filling, though she opted for a slightly different spice blend. The overlap in core ingredients and the method of preparation sparked conversations about the line between inspiration and imitation.